Good morning students. In this session I am going to teach you about development of surfaces. <coughs> what is development? Development means here wrapping a solid. Wrapping means wrapping a solid. This is a solid. It's a square prism. So I am wrapping solid using paper. Paper or maybe thin sheet, whatever may be. So I am wrapping with thin sheet. Okay. Wrapping with thin sheet and spreading out on a plain surface is known as development. Spreading out and I am spreading out on a plain surface. The resulting figure is known as development. Okay. This is for prism. For pyramid also the same. So this is pentagonal pyramid. So I am wrapping around it. Wrapping with a sheet of paper okay with thin sheet and then spreading out okay spreading out on a sheet of paper is known as development okay let us solve the problems one by one okay one by one we solve the problem on development of lateral surfaces so here in this it is given a hexagonal prism, isn't it? So in the question it is given a hexagonal prism So read the question A hexagonal prism of base A 20 mm and I 40 mm he is resting on one of its n down hp resting on one of the n n down hp with two of its lateral faces parallel to VP, two faces, two faces, this face and this face are parallel to the vertical plane. This is parallel to the vertical plane. And inclined at 30 degree to the HP. Inclined at 30 degree to the HP. So sorry. So here this cut by a plane perpendicular to BP and inclined at 30 degree to the HP. So sectional plane perpendicular to H, uh, perpendicular to BP and inclined to HP. So it is perpendicular to VP, vertical plane. So front view is a straight line and inclined to the HP at, some, at an angle 30 degree to the HP. It is going to cut the prism. That is high speed. The plane meets the axis at a distance of 20 mm above the base. Plane meets the axis at a distance of 20 mm above the base, rather the development of the So here in this, what are the things we have to do is first we have to draw the draw the front view and top view, and then we have to mark the sections, and after that only we are, we can able to do the development. So for that what we have to do is, first we draw the front view and top view of the solid. So for that, so we write the next way line. So this is our reference line x y then as it is a hexagonal prism so top we will say hexagon isn't it so we have to draw a hexagon in such a way that two sides are parallel this side and this side are parallel like that we have to keep and then draw the So here, okay, so mark the points, mark the point means, so top, I name it as A, B, e, C, D, E and F, 
these are the top corner points then bottom corner points also there so bottom corner points i name it as p q r s t and u bottom corner points also there then the top view over top view the side is the side is 20m this 20m then front view Yeah. Okay, then mark the front views also. So front view, what are the points means? So here this A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. Once again, this E dash and F dash. So here also this points A dash, A dash. So here P dash. Q dash, R dash, S dash, T dash, and U dash are here. So now I mark the top view and front view. Then section line. So section line. How it is sectioning? So section line is inclined at 30 degree to the HP. So section happening in the front view, isn't it? Section happening in the front view of the X Y line. We can cut this direction, otherwise I can change the direction also. Both are same, which is not mentioned. So I can cut both directions. They are same only. So now we will cut the solid. The plane meets the axis at a distance of 20 mm above the base. So it is 20 mm above the base. So here, from here, 20 mm above the base. Here it is 40 mm. So 20 millimeter I am taking, that means midpoint of this 20 millimeter above the base. Then at this point I draw one horizontal line, then mark how much degrees? 30 degrees. 30 degree to the HP. So this is 30 degree. I mark 30 degree here. So we'll draw in section line, so full solid, then keep a distance and draw the extension. So this is vertical trace. So I mark the mention the angle also. This angle is 30 degrees. Then section points. How many points in section happens? Here one, two, three, and four points. So, but here one dash, here two dash, but here we have two edges. One is visible edge, BQ, visible edge, 
and another F U is the hidden edge. So first I mark numbering for visible edge. So two edges. Then here also we have two edges. One edge C R is the visible edge. E T is the hidden edge. So for visible edge I put number first three dash. Then here only we have one edge B and S four dash. Then here we already left one hidden edge. That is E T. So I mark this number as five which is hidden. Then here also we left one hidden edge which is U F. I mark this number as six dash. So that's all. So I mark the six and also. Then bring all this to the down. Project towards the down. So all the points are coming here. Okay. So here is one. This point is two, three, four, five, and six. All are in the points, face edges. Then how to do the development? How to do the development? Then what we are asking is draw the development of lateral surface of lower portion of the prism. Lower portion means sectioning happens. So this is upper portion. This is lower portion. So they are they are asking us to develop only the lower portion. So we have to dark line for the lower portion only because the lower portion only we are going to develop. And also never forget. So here we have an edge. Okay, here we have an edge. So we should be marking dark line. So here also we have an edge. So two edges are the edge. So we have to develop this lower portion. So how we are going to develop means first what we have to do is just we draw one vertical line here. Okay, draw one vertical line here. Then so here we have six surfaces, right? We have how many surfaces? Six surfaces, six lateral surfaces. I say hexagonal. So we have to spread it out in six faces. Spread it out six faces. So first vertical line and draw one horizontal line also. Two line, one horizontal line also. Okay. Then what we have to do is. Keep this side, one of the side from the top view. Okay, you have to take measurement from the top view only. Don't go oh, here and there. Top view, the side is all the sides are same. So I now mark the value twenty millimeter. I mark here one point. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is the development. Then six surfaces. So I name the points. Okay, so I am. Going to spread out like this. Okay, I'm starting developing from A. So this point is. 
So this point is A, right? Capital letters. So this point is B, C, D, E, F, and once again A will come. A. So from here B, Q, R, S, T, U. Once again P will come. Then we have to mark the dimensions. That is very very important in this. So here, what is the dimension? The total. And then one interior side also. So this value is twenty. So this value is twenty. So this value is what is this value? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six into twenty is equal to one twenty. This value. Then, then what we are going to do is project all the section points also. So draw a hexagonal line from one dash. Okay. Then two dash. Then, where is one? One is in A as A P. So A P here is one. So here also we have one A P two. Yes. Then two two is B Q. So B Q. So here it is two. Then three three is in C R. So C R. Three. Then four. Four is in D S. Like here. Four. Then five. Five is in E T. Five is in E T. Five. Then six. Six is in this six. Okay. Now, now we connect one to the straight lines. One to Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, and last one is six one. Then draw then this line. Very very important. This line, this line, and the bottom edge. So draw these lines as dark edges because these edges are the Development. Then this is so this lower portion only we have to develop. So rather lower portions in dark edges. So this is our cover development. That's all. Right. This question. So what we done is development of lower portion lateral surface of lower portion of the hexagonal design. So okay, thanks.